the moment in the lab we use uh, machine learning technologies which basically look at data, learn from that data and then they can predict uh, data or they can uh, understand that data. Um, artificial intelligence is, is the next evolution really because artificial intelligence means that technology will be self-aware so it's more a technology that, that, that uh, it's, it's more a philosophical term than a technical term because then technology will understand why it is doing something. If you do the sort of three to five year scenario planning it's very clear uh, once you get a bit further out AI becomes the dominant technology in this space and of course that forces a rethink in our approaches to the sort of fintech and regtech if, you, if we take the example we were just talking about, the KYC AML. Right now we have really, really stringent KYC to try and keep the bad guys out. And then we have this complex reporting based AML to try and catch bad behavior. But in a world of AI and machine learning, why would you keep the bad guys out? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, if they're outside using US dollars, we don't know what they're doing. We want the bad guys in the system where we can keep an eye on them. Yeah. And AI, and you know the, the pattern recognition and can can do a lot more to spot the bad behavior if it has access to the data so it, it requires a rethink of a lot of these processes and of course that will, that's what makes it so interesting so maybe we will see in a, in 5 or 10 years the first real ai technology surfacing there there are some some uh, some ideas how we can do that but then that's that's going to be a very interesting point in 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 the banking space because basically what we do at the moment is we can emulate uh, what users do what the business does what workflows does but then we will see um, technology that will self understand the workflows and it will can and it can then run workflows without having a lot of data on that. Yeah, so from an AI perspective, uh, we're definitely looking and leveraging from a network in terms of uh, how we leverage the data, you know, because uh, Discover is kind of a closed loop, right? We, we do the issuing side, we also have the acquiring side. So we actually have a massive amount of transactional data, you know, that we are able to marry with other external data and kind of really provide the right analytics that will, uh, you know, that adds a lot of value to our issuing, whether they're thinking about uh, new offers, new opportunities to, to drive more volume to their clients and uh, you know we have been partnered with some AI companies to really understand how they can help us uh, you know kind of uh, enhance our ability to uh, to aggregate to create value uh, you know to our issuing partners. In machine learning you are so much dependent on data and on the quantity of data and in the in the banking space data is sensible so with our partners we always have to have very good contracts in place to you know, get the data, work on the data. When we are really talking about the next evolution in AI, the, the technology will work on data without ever having seen data like we as humans do that. So that will be very interesting in the next 5, 10, 20 years if we have those algorithms coming up. <laughs>